Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, are you guys ready for some bolos? I am gonna show you some of the items that I sold today. The first one I'm gonna show you, and then we are gonna go into a photo room, uh, like a demo video. I'm gonna show you guys how to batch 50 items at a time, you guys. It is amazing. And above and beyond all of that, you guys can get your first month free. So stay tuned for that. All right, so the first item I sold, I picked this up at a thrift store. It is a Joan Rivers pen. Um, it is signed on the back and it just popped open. So I'm trying to be careful. Whoa, it's signed on the back and the inside it says Joan Rivers. So apparently there is an entire collection of bugs. So I actually got two that day and it's, it's pretty amazing. So you wanna know what it sold for? It sold for $60 on eBay. I'm going to pop up a screen share here for you guys. And the buyer was all in for $69.49. And I got that at a thrift store for $1. All right, you guys, I'm going to show you now how to batch edit with Photo Room to get a white background, which is great for your listings. And then I'm going to go into some more what solds. All right, so stay tuned. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, do you see what that says? It says Photo Room Pro, first month free. Yes, first month free, you guys. Coupon referral code BOLO. That will get you your first month free. So when you go in, you sign up, it asks for a promo code. Just put BOLO there and you'll get your first month free. So how awesome is that? So in this video, I am showing you a newer feature where you can batch edit 50 items at a time. This is such a game changer for resellers. You guys, 50 at a time. Look at this. So right now I'm in my photos and I am clicking on all of the items that I want to add a white background to. I'm not going to do every single photo. Um, I tried to pick out just certain ones. But you guys, it's laying on the carpet. And wait until you see how amazing this looks. It just takes your photos to the next level. And um, I've always recommended a white background. I usually use a photo box. But when I don't feel like using my photo box or the item doesn't fit in my photo box, plus some of these you can see are in my photo box and this just makes it even better. So the photo box, you still have some shadows and stuff like that. So if you want a crisp white background, this is the way to go. So um, I've got a wide variety of items here. I've got some plush, I've got some toys, I've got clothing, I've got jewelry. This works for everything. So super super cool wanted to share it with you guys i now have that referral code for you guys again first month free with coupon referral code bolo so check it out and i hope you guys love it as much as i do let me know if you have any questions in the comments i am just showing you how to batch edit 50 items at a time there are so many amazing features that you can do um, and use for photo room you can change the backgrounds to a different color just you can add uh, pictures like for Instagram and stuff like that. So stay tuned. I'm going to do more videos in the future, but check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you're already using it, let me know if you love it. Okay, Bolo Buddies, are you ready to look at some more Bolo items, some items that I sold today? We're going to check those out. Be sure to check out Photo Room. And again, you can get your first month free with coupon referral code BOLO. Um, Photo Room Pro, you guys. Here we go. Okay, Bolo Buddies, what'd you think about that demo? Pretty fantastic, right? 50 items, that fast, white background, bam, carpet gone. I love it. Um, I'm gonna show you some more Bolos. Are you guys ready? So this item actually sold on Mercari. It is a major bread and butter item. I sell these all the time. I love selling them. They're the Loving Family Collection by um, Fisher Price. So they're dollhouse figures. This one happens to be a jockey. It's got some condition issues on its feet. They are typically signed um, with a date on the bottom. And this sold for, again, it's a bread and butter. Most of you won't mess with this, but I like selling these. They're easy. Sold for $12 on um, Mercari. So I do free shipping on Mercari, so I will cover the shipping. I've got probably 25 cents, maybe 50 cents in this. I typically pick these up in bulk. So I'm probably only going to profit after shipping maybe five, six bucks. But... Again, super easy to list, super easy to ship. Okay, 
The next item, and this is another bread and butter and something that I never mess with, but for some reason I decided to list this one, maybe just to see if I could sell it, but it's a postcard. And that's what it says there. And on the back, I included a, a picture of the stamp because sometimes stamps can be worth money. And on the front, it says, meet me at Cape Cod. But um, I don't know. I, I don't know anything about this. It does have a crease in it. But somebody made me an offer, I believe, on that for $8. I went ahead and took it. They were all in for $13.70. My cost of good was pennies. Okay, so if you guys were at my live show the other night, um, I was listing these. Um, they're called Scent Portables, okay? You guys, these are flying out of my store. Um, I probably had 10 or 15 of them total. They retail for 4 bucks. They're sold at Bath and Body Works. They're discontinued. Um, here's the other one. So uh, the same person bought both of these. Now, these are a bread and butter item. I, maybe I'm underselling them because they're selling so quickly. But they hold like some sort of scent. Um, and it's, it's Slatkin and Company, but they were sold at Bath and Body, from what I understand. So anyway, these two sold for um, $26.00. So we can just say 13 each. It, I think one was more than the other. I'll try to pop up screen shares for you guys. And when people add items to their cart, they get an automatic discount and then they also get $5 shipping. So they were all in for $30.53 for these. And again, flying out of my store. I don't think, I, I might have a couple left. It's unbelievable. I can't believe how fast they've been selling. The next item, um, you guys know that I like to part things out. And I parted out a dollhouse, and these are the kitchen cabinets. So these came off of um, the kitchen. I popped them off the cabinet. Um, you can see here, this side, and on the inside, how pink they are. So they are even faded. Um, I sold these for $10.08 on eBay, and the buyer was all in for $15.39. Okay, here is another eBay sale. This one went internationally, and I will tell you that... I typically um, sell a lot of my Barbies to um, other countries internationally. My husband actually picked this up. He came home one day and he's like, you told me to look for Barbies, right? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, I picked up a bunch of Barbies. So he got this at a garage sale. I want to say he paid $3 for this. He picked up like five or six of them. But that Barbie sold for $32 and was all in for $41.25. That is just to get it to Global Shipping Center. They also had additional customs and however Global Shipping does the fees. So I'm not sure what their total all in was, but that was their all in to me. The next item sold on Mercari. And if you guys watched um, my live listing the other day, it was like, I don't want to list this stuff. And that is over on my reseller testing Bolo products. I do live listing shows over there. I'll pop it up and show you what, guys what it looks like. But I hate clothes. And I was like forcing myself to list. And these are Libby Active. And I'm going to pop up a screenshot so you can see better. But they're kind of like an athletic short. And these sold pretty quickly, less than, I think, less than three weeks. And let's see, I sold those, I want to say for $32 free shipping. So I'll cover the shipping on that. I'll pop up a screen share. Um, but yeah, Livy Active, Lane Bryant, they're sold on the Lane Bryant website, is a very, very good brand to pick up to sell. Plus size, Lane Bryant. Okay, so I picked this ornament up for $0.50 cents at a garage sale. It's a Hallmark ornament. I always pick these up if they're cheap. Um... Typically, they're bread and butter, but some of these may surprise you. This one, I would consider a bread and butter. I sold it for under $35, so that is what I consider bread and butter. I sold this for $18 plus shipping, so the buyer with tax and shipping was all in for $24.99. This is a Stargazer Lily Fairy, and it looks like it is a special edition. So, the ornament I just showed you guys. I'm going to be totally transparent here. Um, sold it, was excited about it, got a cancellation request. Reason for cancellation, found a better price. Wah, wah. Okay, you guys, so it is what it is. I relisted it, no big deal, let them cancel the order. But the reality of reselling is, is you're going to have ups and you're going to have downs. So I'm going to leave that in the video. 
you saw the excitement and then you saw the man that stinks you guys it happens to all of us keep your chin up keep listing and just hang in there okay so one thing i'm known for on my channel is selling broken items items that are defective um i just do it i like to see if i can do it and this little guy is a scentsy buddy and it is a cat and literally you guys the zipper on the back is broken i mean completely broken now did i make a, a lot of money on this no i sold this for eight dollars i think the buyer was all in for fifteen dollars and ten cents but i picked it up at a garage sale for 50 cents so instead of just throwing it back in the donate pile I was able to flip it quick. Well, okay, maybe not quick, but it, it didn't take too long to sell and I made a profit. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys, would you have listed the cat or donated it? Let me know in the comments. And the last item I sold on Poshmark, I got these at a thrift store. I paid $6 for them and they are a pair of Speary shoes. And that's some sort of sticker on the bottom there. They look like, I don't know if they were just maybe tried on because they've still got the original um, sticker on the inside, but they're kind of like a leather, pink leather. I just thought they were really cool looking. And I know Speary can do well. Um, I'm trying to stay away from clothes and shoes and stuff and working on hard goods, but from time to time, if I see something, I'll still pick it up. So those sold on Poshmark for, I took a best offer of $40. Again, I paid six at a thrift store. My posh fee was eight. So I got 32 of that. So you subtract my six. I don't know. What's that equal? <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, 26? Yeah, $26 was my profit. So that's pretty good margins for a pair of thrift store shoes. Um, I had them priced a little high. I think they would have sold faster had I not been asking so much, but I couldn't find um, many like them and they were a size 10. Um, the bigger sizes seem to um, sell for a little more for me. Um, I think they're just a little bit harder to find. So those are just some things that I'm getting ready to ship out. I didn't want this to just be a photo room demo video. I wanted to share some bolos with you guys because that is what my channel is about. Items to be on the lookout for. Items you can buy low and sell high. If, you're new, if you are new here, thanks for being here. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I'd love to have you come back to check out another video. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you at the next one.